Bailey, the Nosy Puppy Short Stories for Kid. Today we have a book named Bailey, the Nosy Puppy by Cindy Eggleston Short Stories for Kid. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Bailey was a curious little puppy. He was curious about everything. He had golden fur, like the color of taffy, and a cute little white face with white-tipped paws and tail. When Bailey's family picked him up to take him to his forever home, Robbie, who would become his best friend, snuggled with him on his lap, which made him feel safe and secure. When they arrived and Robbie opened the door, Bailey jumped out and ran all around the property so excited. There was so much to see and smell. He rolled around in the grass and sniffed the flowers. Bailey, Robbie called out to him. Be careful when you smell the flowers. A bee might sting you. Robbie knew this because a few days earlier, while picking flowers for his mom, he got stung. Bailey didn't pay any attention to Robbie. He was too excited and curious. He ran into the barn to see what was there. He smelled animals. Lots of animals. There were horses, cows, pigs, and goats. Bailey, be careful. You might get kicked by a horse or cow. Robbie knew this because he'd had many close calls himself. Ignoring Robbie, he ran out to the chicken pens and stuck his nose right up to the wire. Bailey, be careful. You might get pecked. Robbie was trying to keep up with him, which was hard because he was so fast. Having a puppy was tiring. Robbie knew about pecking chickens because he'd been pecked a few times himself when collecting eggs for his mama. But Bailey didn't care. He was so excited by all the new sights and smells, he wasn't afraid of anything. Finally, tired from all the running. He was just a small puppy after all. He plopped down on the ground looking very happy. Robbie picked him up and took him into the house. Look, Bailey, Robbie said. There's your bed in the corner. You're going to sleep in my room. There was a brand new fluffy dog bed Robbie's mom had bought for him. After his big, exciting day, Bailey laid down and quickly fell asleep. The next morning, when Robbie took Bailey outside, he ran right over to the flowers, stuck his nose deep inside, and sniffed. Sure enough, a big bumblebee flew out and stung him on the nose. Yip! yelled Bailey, sounding quite surprised. Bailey, I told you to be careful. Ignoring Robbie, he ran to the barn into an open stall, and sure enough, a horse tried to kick him. Bailey, I told you no. But that still didn't stop him. He ran over to the chicken pen stuck his nose right up to it, and a mama chicken pecked him on the nose. Yup! Yup! Bailey fell back, shook his head, and ran over to Robbie, who quickly picked him up and gave him a big hug and kiss. See, Bailey, I tried to tell you. Bailey had learned his lesson. From then on, he never stuck his nose where it didn't belong. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.